this is my test video to make dinner so I can play and try to um, edit. So I'm making the egg rolls in a bowl. And I wanted to use a pound of ground pork, but that did not work because the grocery store was out of it. So I'm using ground beef, which they said was okay to substitute. Probably could have used ground chicken. That probably would have been a little better, but they had some. I don't know. Um, it might be in my room. See, that's going to be perfect because I have to stop. Um, anyway, so I'm using the ground beef instead of the ground pork. And then I, um, this recipe I got is a low carb, of course, because it's an egg roll in a bowl. Um, so I'm using um, a, a pound of ground beef, some minced garlic. I got the um, elephant garlic. It's really big. Let me see. You guys, it's, it's so big. One clove, like this is the one clove right here. So I got that. Um, it's asking for cabbage or coleslaw, coleslaw mix, and I got that. Soy sauce, they say low sodium, but fuck that, I don't ever do that. Ginger, sriracha sauce, one egg, and a tablespoon of sesame oil, and two teaspoons of sliced green onions. So first thing I'm doing is browning the um, the burger. It's almost done, which I guess is a good place for me to have started because then um, it's not too much kind of uh, waiting around for that. So I like, my, when I learned how to cook as a young kid, my father always um, did everything with a wooden spoon on a no-stick pan and um, chopped everything up really fine. He was really into that kind of shit. So goofy, because um, I really... Uh, he, like, he would eat things that I would never eat because he would puree them. <laughs> He's turned into soup, whatever it is. But, yeah, so I'm browning this. It seems like it's going to be relatively easy to do. Um, it doesn't seem like there's not a ton of steps in it. Okay, let's see what it says to do next. Okay. Drain the meat if it's really wet. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty wet. This is because I'm trying to be stupid. Let me just not do that. Strainer. I was trying not to because I'm trying not to wash 50 million things, but let's do it anyway. Okay. I already chopped up my garlic, so I don't have to do that. Drained it. Drain it, drain it, drain it. And all that good hamburger over there. I like to usually, when I'm doing low-carb cooking, I try to actually leave as much of the fat in there as I possibly can because that's really good for you. It keeps you full. Um, so, all right, add the garlic and saute for 30 seconds, the cabbage and coleslaw. All right, so let's get that out. How many ounces did they say? 14 ounces, so almost all of this coleslaw. Now it says to add the, the, let me just get everything open, so if I just bought this ginger, you didn't have any of that, and um, I'll cut open the bag of slaw, so it's um, ready to go to. 
to open this up. Probably should have my back to y'all, but this is my test video, so who the cares? And maybe I'll throw it out there. Who knows? Let me see. Does it say that? Add this is back. Add the cabbage, cold sauce, soy sauce, and sauté. You can add a little water. Make the well in the center of the skillet. Add the egg, scramble until done. So now I guess I, I'm supposed to throw the meat back in first, and then I'll throw the garlic in, which seems normal. I cook this on a pretty high heat too, since it is. Chinese food, I mean, technically. Um, let me save this for the real So, you only cook garlic for a short period of time because garlic will burn really easily. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm going to do the sriracha out there. Let's mix that up too. Seems like about 30 seconds, and then it says add the cabbage and close coleslaw, soy sauce, and minced ginger. So 14 ounces of cabbage. I'm gonna throw this stuff in there too. I put some uh, bamboo shoots and um, water chestnuts in it because I like them, and uh, more veggies is always better than less. Um, so I put that in there too because you. There's all kinds of things that happen with your uh, low carb lifestyle, and part of that is not getting enough fiber. So, I like to add vegetables to just about everything I make just to make sure that it's in there. And you can only eat so much salad. I, I don't know about y'all, but that's how I feel. That seems like where it should be. Of course, this was 14 ounces. And this bag was 16. So I'm throwing that in there. Yeah, stir it in there and get it going because you know it cooks down nice. And then, what does it say? A quarter cup of soy sauce. I was, I should have been better prepared. I didn't want anybody to see me what I just did because I was pretty bad. Use my teeth. I mean, you know, low carb is like the best because everything that you can make with bread or like an egg roll has in the shell, you can eat without it. So it's awesome. Soy sauce, ginger, teaspoon of ginger. delicious it smells. Okay, that 
mixed in. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to have to do is just make a hole in the center of the, um, of the mixture once it's cooked to the place we want it. We're going to put an egg in the middle and scramble that bitch up. want more like water, which I probably don't want the water, I left all that other shit in there. Okay. I, I don't really want it to, uh, I like my vegetables to be, um, a little crispy. And it doesn't say to do this, but I am going to crack this egg and whisk it up before I put it in there. until done over low heat I would say got to be pretty close alright and then stir in sriracha two teaspoons of sriracha. And then, and then, drizzle with sesame oil, add green onions, add additional soy sauce is desired. So let's see, turn it off, put it in a bowl. Now I'm gonna feed you. you guys how much how much of that Just one teaspoon tablespoon of sesame oil but I would imagine that's for all of it so let's just drizzle some of that over the top and then and then we're gonna put some green onion in that which I got these gargantuan green onions too it's crazy enough. of these bitches. They're huge. <laughs> so I'm just going to chop up one. Alex might want one, but I'll do that later when she's ready. I really like 
like tinier ones, but what are you going to do? Pretty fucking good. Let's taste it. Oh my gosh. So good. Yep, this is a keeper.